Hey there, Frank again. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to make a recording onto the TriCaster 40. Now what I want to show you is how to retrieve that recording that you made and uh, transfer it to a USB drive so that you can use it to either upload to YouTube or some other uh, place you want to put it. So let me show you how, how it's done. Okay, first thing we've got to do is remember, I want to remind you that when you do recording, and I'm going to click on the little gear here, Make sure that you have the, the name, and if it's a new show, you put new show, and I, I definitely recommend you put the date down, so it'll save you a lot of time later when you're searching for it. If it's some other type of video, like maybe you recorded somebody uh, at the school, and you're gonna play it later, just make sure you name it so you, you can find it. If you forget to name it, it'll just record whatever name's there, and then I got a one, or a two, or a three after it. Now, the other thing, too, is remember, if you are going to play it back on the TriCaster through the V-Brick into the school, then just put it on that, click on this little thing that says Add to DDR, because that's what's going to drop it down into the bin, which it did right here, so that it's ready to go when you decide you want to uh, send it out. Okay, and uh, I did tell you a little bit about where we're going to record the program and the encoding. I do recommend the uh, H.264, because it's a compressed file, but it's high quality, and it's a lot smaller. You won't be fumbling in the, in the uh, early morning trying to get the, the it transferred to a thumb drive and you realize it's a huge file and the bell's about to ring and other things and kids are running in and out. So I recommend you use H.264. It's going to be a lot more convenient. And we saw that the destination for this file is on the media drive. So we're going to look there. So we're going to close that. So here's my, little, here's my show in the, D, in the, in the uh, uh, DDR. So what we're going to do is you're going to plug in your USB drive, make sure it's plugged into your, into your machine, either in the front or in the back. Then you're going to go up to the X. We're going to exit our session. And remember, up here is a session name. My session name is called TriCaster Tips. So we're going to exit out of there. I'm going to come down, exit. And I'm going to go back to the arrow. I'm going to go to shutdown, but don't get nervous. We're not actually going to shut it down. We're just going to the administration mode. So I'm going to click on that. And I got this little pop-up window. Ignore that. <clears throat> now here I am in administrator mode. And you can see that there's selections here. There's different choices. One is files on disk. Right here, files on disk. I click on it. Now these are the uh, disk drives that are plugged in to the TriCaster 40. So the internal drives are the C and the D. And here is my external USB drive. First thing I'm going to do is go get, open up the media drive, and I'm going to click on media, and I'm going to click on clips, because remember it was recording. Now before you go anywhere else, you got to make sure you go to the session. So here's my session drive, TriCaster Tips. I'm going to open that. Now I see where it says capture. So let's open that file, and there's my show. So you'll also notice that, remember what I said, it's dated which happens to be today, 10-22-20-1. Uh, so that's like the first one. Now, uh, remember I said if you forgot to change the name the next, and you record it again, it would say the same name, same date, but it would say 2, 3, 4. So it's important that you date it because then you'll know how to find it. Okay, so there it is. Now you notice also here's my external USB drive. It's called graphics. So all I do is I click, I drag it, I drop it in graphics, and I've already got a copy in there. And I'm going to say copy it. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to copy it? Yes, I want to copy it. And then it will make the copy. And, the, and depending on the length of your, of your show, it may take a little longer. So remember, um, these are some of the things you might run into in the morning when it's frantic or the bell's starting to ring. OK, so there it is. So I'm going to go out of this. Now I'm going to click out of that. Now it says I have a choice. If I'm finished my show, if I'm finished with the new show and I have it on file, I'm going to take that and upload that in my computer to YouTube or some other place. And then you can exit. If you're finished, you can exit. If you're not, you're going to go back to TriCaster. And uh, it's going to open back up again. So uh, depending on what, whatever else you have to do, if you want to make another recording. So I'm going to bring it back to TriCaster. That's going to back open up again. And now I'm ready to go for another show. So that's pretty much how you do it. And uh, again, just a couple things to think about. Make sure you name it properly and date it. 
Make sure you give yourself enough time to transfer to the USB drive. Um, and then once you do, it's there, it's on the drive, then you can, you can use it and upload it to YouTube or some other area. So it's that simple. If you have any problems, you know, let me know, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.